one thing this is this is kind of hard to describe one thing she said to me we were in a in a performance one day and she changed so much of the rhythm and the timing and everything leading up to a particular musical number and so i'm ready to you know i'm listening to this watching this thinking wow this is different what on earth is she doing and i'm ready to give the downbeat to start this number anyway it was all very different and so after the show that day i went to her and i said uh Miss Channing, I'm I'm curious, just so I know for the future, what was that all about? And she said, oh, well, I'm so glad you asked me that because, uh, and I'll dispense with that accent right now. Uh, she said, uh, the audience just wasn't with us and I was sensing this and it was a matinee. She said, so they were thinking about lunch or shopping or anything but being in the of our performance. She said, and I was just getting them, I was listening to them not be engaged. Mm -hmm. And that was news to me. I thought, what on earth does that mean? She said, no, 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 no. I needed to help them focus on us on stage. And that's why I changed the rhythm mm -hmm. and my staging. And I just knew you were watching. So I knew there wouldn't be any problems uh, leading into the music number. And so from that day forth, as odd as I thought that was at the time, I have always kept in mind, listen, not only to the great musicians that I'm working with, but listen to the audience. So all night long, I'm hearing at various tempos and it's very helpful. Yes, and I see what's called uh, streamers go vertically from left to right across my video monitor and that tells me go. Or if it's going across, it tells me to stop and or slow down. So you have redundant information coming to the conductor, which is very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, click track, the visuals, and in the upper right-hand corner, you actually see time code. Mm -hmm. So you have all this going on, and it's very helpful to me to, to absorb all of it at the same time because these things happen very quickly. You, you could do eight minutes of really high speed chase music for mm -hmm. Back to the Future or something in Star Wars, for example. And there's no time to think. And for the pops genre with symphony orchestras, you also have to be um, very comfortable in talking with audiences and, and listening to them and responding to them as well as the, the great musicians uh, that you're working with. So it's different sets of requirements and if you will, skills. Mm -hmm. I won't say talents, I'll just say skills. Um, when to just let sit back and let it go. Once you've started it, you, you've got 75 of the best musicians anywhere. So let them, ha let them have it, let them have a good time. You know, don't always get in the way. Yeah. Something I learned, especially in ballet was to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. You set this, now let it happen. Just stop flapping and let it happen. It's gonna be great, just get out of the way. A lot of people say, well, I'll never take that for granted again. And of course we all understand that. That's something we're all going through. Um, not that I'm an angel at all, but I, far from it, but I don't think I ever did take it for granted. There's something that was always and will always be very, very special to me of standing in front of 75 great musicians. Every, every individual with a unique personality and that it's, it's my pleasure to get to know over the course of time and understand how everyone's thinking. And I just love that. Because all I have to do is just look at someone and I go, yep, I know what they're thinking right about now. And it's fun, uh, especially from night to night. If you do three or four repetitions of a given program, every night it's slightly different and it's um, slightly more fun in a slightly different way every time because you know these people. And it's truly one of my joys to work with all these people.